Hey, what's up, guys? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. Just got back from vacation, feeling good. God's blessed me in so many ways. I've had a lot of requests for the song Good, Good Father uh, by House Fires. Awesome song. And just let me do a, a, a quick little devotion, if you will, there before I teach this song. You know, if you want your spiritual walk to mature or to take that next step, one of the best things I can recommend is ask yourself, do I see God? as my father. Do I see him as some mysterious being living up in the heaven that's judging me or kind of keeping me in line or just handling the galaxies and the universe and all that? Or do I see him as my personal heavenly father? You know, when the disciples asked Jesus, teach us how to pray, the first thing Jesus started out with was our father. When he was teaching them how to pray, he said, you start out with our father who art in heaven. And I know, many of you know, but recently I became a father back in November. So I've got a seven-month-old now. And it's shown me so much, even in my spiritual walk, it's, it's shown me how you can love something absolutely unconditional. My little boy's name is Blake, and there's nothing I would, would not do for Blake. I would, I would die for him. I'd live for him. I'd give everything to him. I want, when I give him advice even though he can't understand it I'm already shaping his little mind and his little his little body to be the best he could possibly be and I would do anything for it that's the kind of unconditional love and like the Bible says if if me being this sinful being if I know how to give that kind of good love imagine what God the all-perfect righteous all-knowing our Creator can give so just wanted to add that in there that like look at God as your Heavenly Father not just someone who wrote the Bible and had the Bible inspired by the writers and just not someone just looking down waiting for you to mess up. He's truly your Heavenly Father. Um, it, it makes all the difference in the world. This song is going to use four chords. It's basically the four chords that I use often. When they, It's the G, C, E minor, and D. When they play it, they capo on the second fret, which takes it up two half steps to the key of A. I'm going to play it just in the key of G with no capo. Let me play through it. And then I'll teach it. I've heard a thousand stories about what you think you're like and I heard a tender whisper of love being dead I think I was a little faster there. A lot of times I'll have the um, the song playing in my head. Uh, I mean, with the earphones or on the, on the computer there uh, to kind of get the tempo down. And you can listen to the song the tempo. I was going a little faster there. But you're going to start out on the verse. It's going to be G. And then so you're going to play a regular G. And then take it down that D. So it's, you're going to have a regular G, two fingers locked. And then put the first finger down that third string. So six, bottom four, six, bottom four, then go down to a C, which is move the top two fingers, then bottom five, bottom four, bottom five. And you're gonna start with just down strums till you get the timing. I've heard a thousand stories. You're gonna see of what think you're like. And I've heard a tender whisper of love in the dead of night, and you tell. We have an E minor here, which I lock in. I keep his bottom two locked. 
and I press right in between that fifth and fourth. If you want, you can do it this way. But uh, you, go. you tell me to those and down D that you're pleased and then go to C and that I I'm never alone. You're a good. So it gets two B three each of those two E minors, two Ds, two e Cs, two Ds. You're a good, good. And on the chorus, C. Father, it's who you are. Two Gs. It's who you are. E minor. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. C. It's who I am. G. It's who I am. C. I mean, E minor. It's who I am. And that, that little bridge, too, is the same thing. Perfect in all of your ways. C to G. D minor. Perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You to us. So instead of that last one, D minor, you can maybe E minor, you go straight to D. Let me stop this video. It's getting a little long there. Okay, when the video gets too long, I'll stop it because it takes too long to upload there. So again, the chorus is D. I mean, I mean C. minor, D, C, G, E minor, D. Now the strumming on this song, I've got to admit, it's pretty tricky. Down, down, up, down, up. So I'm going uh, a hard down, up, down, You know, I sell how strumming is about timing, but this one you also got to think of a little bit of strumming pattern because it's not just about timing. Start with just the down strums to get the two beats, two beats per chord down. But once you kind of get into trying to get the actual pattern down, so it's 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 a louder down strum, then down up, and then a louder second one, and then you're as you're switching, you're going up. Sometimes on that D, I'll go back and forth, pinky on, pinky off, and then middle finger on and off that second fret. But I recommend, again, um, I recommend that you listen to the CD on YouTube, uh, listen to the version, and if you want to play with them, in the same, they play at the key of A, you'd put that capo on the second fret. Because remember, each time you put a capo on a fret, it's going to raise the song up a half a step. So a G regular Capo first fret be G sharp. Capo second fret is A. And remember, you play the chords exact same relative to the capo. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. To
So if you're just starting out, this is a, is a tricky one. If you need strumming help in general, which again, what, what most beginners need, type in Matt McCoy strumming in the YouTube search bar or go to AcousticSelection.com slash strumming. Um, so anyway, check out, please go like. If it's your first time viewing my videos, go like Facebook.com slash Acoustic Selection. And also check out my website, Acoustic Selection. And maybe tell somebody in your church or your small group or youth group about the site. I love to uh, teach praise and worship in the simplest way I know how kind of all to beginners, and, and throw in little devotionals and things that God puts in my heart when I read His Word or time in prayer or maybe just traveling or going throughout my day that maybe I can help you spiritually and help myself as well. Um, I say a lot of times, if you speak out of your weaknesses, you never run out of material. So things that I struggle with and things that I need reminded, I will tell you guys not only to try to help you, but to try to help myself because it's when... We're all going through the spiritual walk together, and when we, when I know all the weaknesses I have, and I try and I, I strive to be the person God wants me to, but I always fall short. But the Bible says the righteous fall seven times, but get back up, but gets back up every time. So that's what I want to do: is constantly be pushing towards that finish line, running this race like the Apostle Paul says, and live my life the best I can, that I can let my light so shine that others may see my good works and glorify God what it's all about. Please subscribe if you haven't. Check, thanks for checking out the lessons. I love you. God bless you.